Ben Woodruff here with another falconry video. Today's video, I just want to answer a simple question that actually a lot of people have asked me, and that really is, what is a bag, and what does it mean? And uh, I want to share this. I, I'm a little hesitant to talk about this, but but it's an important one to understand sort of the history of falconry. And this word, falconry, can be somewhat elitist or people have very strong opinions about it region to region even within the same region and so sometimes uh, a new falconer learning doesn't want to come across as stupid asking a dumb question and so i really want to explain this but also kind of give the history and the use of what on earth is a baggy now again if you have slightly different definitions of the origin of this word please feel free because when we get into European language and European falconry history, different definitions region to region change a little. So please share your, uh, your knowledge of this term down below. But basically here's how it started off and then what does it mean today? Because it's a little bit different. In the olden days, if you were to go hunting, maybe you were a hunter, you might be a yeoman or maybe you were a falconer or maybe you were a lord who went out there with your gamekeeper then your goal in hunting was to procure game, quarry. You're hunting a rabbit, you're hunting a pheasant, you're hunting a heron, a duck, whatever. Uh, the example I give, if you see on Disney, the original Beauty and the Beast cartoon, you have Gaston going out um, and he's out go shooting and his friend, I can't remember his name, but his friend's there with him and he's got a bag. And he's like, boom, I got one. Oh, good shot, Gaston, and throws it in the bag. So that is bagged game. Now it could be a falcon. You're like, oh, we're going out. Oh, this falcon. We The falconer took it off. The, the cadger takes the falcon off the cadge. And the falconer has to go up. And the lord watches the falcon fly. <laughs> catches a duck. <laughs> oh, now let's go over to this pond. And we take another falcon. It goes up, <laughs> dives down, <laughs> knocks out a duck. And we put that duck in the bag. So... It's where also we get that term, like let's say you go to a job interview and the interview goes so well and you're like, oh yeah, this this one's in the bag. Meaning it's as good as dead. It's as good as shot. It's as good as caught. So this term bag is a successfully hunted and obtained quarry item, which is not what it means today. Successfully obtained quarry item, whether it was hunted with a gun or with a falcon, that is now in the game bag that then you take home and that is then those are given to the cooks or whatever to cook up or maybe you're a small town hunter and you sell them to the game market. Uh, in Europe, there's a lot of uh, times and even today where the higher end food is wild game. Like, oh, you can go to the, you know, and buy, you know, some bagged dead red grouse or some some rabbits that were caught some hares here's a hare that was caught taken home for dinner it's much nicer it's better than where in the united states we kind of have the opposite view where it, it's not so much nowadays but kind of the idea was beef pork chicken that is fancy food and if you're going to go hunt a deer and get venison or you're going to hunt a duck, that's poor man's food. And in many European countries, the attitude was always the opposite because the wealthy landowners or the lord or the king own land and the quarry that is on it. So if you're eating wild game, it's related to being a landowner. So it's kind of a different attitude. But in falconry, as you know, think about fishing. Okay, if you go fishing, there are many people who, oh, about fly fishing, oh, I caught this beautiful brown trout, you reel it in, you take it out in the net, you're like, oh, you look at it, wow, that's beautiful. I'm not in the mood to eat it, I'm going to do catch and release. You unhook the hook and you set it free back into the river. That's catch and release. In a similar way, a bird of prey can go up and catch a rabbit 
and you rush in and you pull out the lure, you trade it off, they hop off, and now you've got this animal that if, if the bird didn't kill it or if you didn't dispatch it, this prey item is still alive. Might be a little tender in the backside where it got grabbed by the hawk, just kind of like a fish hook, catch and release. It's the same principle. That prey item um, has been bagged in the sense that it has been caught but it's still alive. There are some falconers that do catch and release at that point. But what is a baggy? Well, if you have a new bird, let's say you are a, you're in, in the Middle East, you're in the Arabian deserts, and you've got a, a saker falcon that is well seasoned and it catches a bustard, and you do what I just say, you trade it off. Or let's say you're, you know, in Europe and you've got a goshawk that's well seasoned and trained and it drives and it catches a, a hare. And, and then you trade it off for food. But let's say back home, that falconer has a new goshawk that's still learning. Or let's say that uh, Arabian falconer has a young saker that was trapped that year, still learning and, and doesn't have confidence yet. The idea of a baggy is to say bagged game, game that was already caught, that now you can say, okay, well, we're going to have this new falcon that's learning go out and we throw out and it catches so it's a guaranteed find, and it's probably a guaranteed catch. It's a way to build confidence. So that is the principle of what a baggy is. You take that caught rabbit back, younger goshawk, set it free under that goshawk, it catches it. Because otherwise, maybe you're in the field looking for a rabbit, and you're not finding one, and the goshawk's like, what are we doing? It's not learning the game. Instead, you've instantly given it quarry to catch. Now, of course, for some people, that's controversial. Some countries of the world, that's the name of the game. Some countries of the world, that's, oh, that's wrong and terrible. Um, but <clears throat> it doesn't necessarily anymore have to be like that for the wild. For example, maybe there, there are farms that raise pheasants. So maybe you would get a farm-raised pheasant that are normally eaten. And you might say, okay, this is a baggy. Well, you didn't bag it. But it's still the same principle. The term is still the same. And you might say, okay, I've this new falcon I'm training, it's overhead. We release this farm raised pheasant so it can learn how to chase and catch it. Same principle could also, to a degree, also be with using pigeons. A lot of people have fine homing pigeons and racing pigeons, and they are trained to evade a falcon. And you will release some of those under a new falcon, and the new falcon is kind of wandering, and you're like, whoa, look, whoop, these pigeons came out from underneath while well, you were going the wrong direction. Oh, and I missed. And they're like, ah, I'm mad. And so they get back up because they learn, I need to always stay overhead, keeping my eyes on this falcon. So not every falconer uses baggies as a principle of training. It is a highly effective principle. But I wanted more to just give a definition of what baggies are because the term is used so prevalently, but a lot of times people don't realize where the term actually came from. And a lot of new falconers don't even know exactly what it means and are a little intimidated to even fully ask what it means. So bagged game, you might see that in a book, but you don't see baggy as often uh, uh, defined out. But that's what it is. It started as bagged game that was not dispatched and was allowed for a new bird to, it's still in training, to be able to go after, to build confidence and learn how to hunt. Now, for those who are deterrents to this process, you're allowed to have your views and opinions, but this is the same thing that wild birds do for their offspring because the same problem applies. A young bird in the nest, mom and dad are bringing me food all the time. If mom and dad just ditch out, it's like, and now what? Okay, I'm going to go starve to death. They don't know how to hunt. And so birds of prey will catch prey that is somewhat wounded because it's been caught and they'll fly near the nest and drop it. And the birds are like, oh, mom and dad brought food and they dropped it. Oh, wait, now the food's moving away from me, but it's, and they catch it. So wild birds of prey do bagged game, do baggies for their young. Oh, most Birds of prey, most raptors do that in one form or another. So it is a principle of nature that to be an effective predator might require a, a short stage of in-between where, okay, you're kind of hunting, but we're kind of helping you to make sure you have success so you get the principle and then we move away from that and you're just doing the thing. Wild birds do it. And sometimes we do it as falconers as well. And that is where the principle comes from. We learned it from nature. So 
I hope that helps you if you weren't familiar with the term. And even if you were, I hope it helps to kind of know the background of what, because what a what a strange term. Like I, I first heard it as a kid, baggy, and I'm picturing like a plastic sandwich baggy. I'm like, is this food in a bag? What on earth does that mean? It's from the old canvas game bags and the old leather game bags of, of medieval Europe is where the, where the term comes from. So hope this video is useful to you. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below, positive and negative. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of rah, 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 on this one because I know there's a lot of different views of it, but it's good information. Uh, and as always, happy hockey.